Welcome guys to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with me, yours truly, Descarander. So right guys, today we have a battle against the Range Lime or Connor. Um, he's a great friend of mine from uh, the Pimp Knight uh, chat and also we battled a few times before that. So um, just uh, like heads up, here he is. <laughs> awesome guy. Nevertheless, um, this battle was during my <laughs> stream. But because I had so much like key plays here, uh, I couldn't like tell everything that I was thinking during that battle. Uh, so I decided not to give you guys a live feed, but rather record it and then explain how my thought process was. Because I think it was actually a good game, uh, definitely fast paced one, not too long. Um, Poach is dying left and right this game. But nevertheless, um, looking at his team, he got Hillisk, yeah, Float Seal, Ludicolo, uh, what is it called? Armaldo, Bronzong, and Murkrow. I have gone against Murkrows before with the Prankster, so I was kind of sure this was a definite rain team. I myself using pretty much the standard I did uh, during the stream. So this uh, Swallow, Sesmetoad, Bedfist, Rogaldi, uh, Luxray, and Eurafarig. Nothing special really. Uh, like I said, I did predict him to bring in the Murkrow in the beginning, and pretty much that I just have to counter whatever comes in. So because I knew he was gonna start off with Murkrow, I just decided that I might as well start with my own Swallow and just try to take it out in the first turn while he sets up. I know this thing isn't sashed, so you guys are gonna get really surprised that I am actually not able to kill this one first turn. Uh, it's pretty close, it, it definitely is, but I mean, yeah, it will survive. So anyway, I, is, I expect him to switch out there. Uh, so I decided to do that myself, knowing that Ragaldi can almost take on everything in his team. Besides Armaldo, Settle though he missed the Stone Edge, and that is gonna be huge because it could have easily taken out my Dragaldi if that would have been a crit. So, yeah, the Skull is obviously taking him out, and well, that's that, I guess. Anyway, I can't do anything about Ludicolo, I do expect the Ice Beam, uh, and well, I have nothing really that could take it, so I'm just gonna sack off Girafarig. I know that um, Ludicolo has Swift Swim or oh, Rain Dish, but it definitely is a Swift Swim set, so I can't really do anything. I do, I do know though that Swallow is faster than uh, Ludicolo if it isn't like invested. So I'll try to frame him out and just switch out right away. Uh, and that didn't work. That definitely didn't work. He decides to stay in there. And he gets the Frozen, which is huge. So I do expect a Grass attack here. And I don't want to sack him just yet. So I know a Pokemon can take it right away. Well. Um, and well, I do. I do take it right away. Well. I can basically just, you know, try to um, stall here because I do need that Rain Dance to be out of the way. I'm just gonna go for Draco. I did try to actually take that Ice Beam. I have no idea if I can take it or not. So, well, ugh. Don't do too much there. I should probably go for a Skull instead. So I decided to switch out right away knowing I can't really do anything. So I'm just gonna try to waste a few turns here with my Resort. Because I can't have him frozen and he counters a lot of things here. He's gonna bring in the float seal there. Props are using it. It's definitely, is, you know, uh, not as common to see. Uh, sadly, he found it was a Swiss move set, so and I flew out here. So yeah, I'm pretty bad actually. So now I'm in a really good position. I did expect him to switch out to Ludicolo here, so I just got off a poison jab, taking it out actually, which is also huge. So anyway, I decided to switch or to stay in here, and no one I can probably take a grass nut. Very risky. I probably couldn't. Um, I am assault vested, so that's probably his answer. Actually, I don't know if that one specs or anything, but I yeah. Wow, <laughs> I did not expect that actually. So anyway, I decided to switch into bed fits. No one a physical move is coming, so the rocky helmet can take it out. Uh, he actually did a good prediction there and went for the brick break instead of waterfall. Which obviously wouldn't give him HP, but still. So anyway, I can't really do anything against Bronzong. I could use Thunderwave maybe, but I decided not to. Uh, so I know that Dragology pretty much covers um, the steel moves. Can't take can't take the Psychic bow. I do expect this to be like a stalling supporting set. So anyway, I get the burn, and of course, Scald boosted there is going to matter. You want to take they put this guy out pretty fast. So the only guy I got left is actually Murkrow, and well. At least Connor decides to actually <laughs> help me out a little and set up the rain dance. 
uh, it wouldn't have mattered, but at least so it definitely, definitely dies <laughs> from this skull. So anyway, GG Connor, and well, thank you for this game. Well, thank you guys for watching. As you see, it was a really fast battle, and I didn't lose too many pokes, but it was just because I did the right predictions at the right time, and pretty much pressured uh, Lime to do the switches, actually. So, props for Deranged Lime, actually. He, he was a really good player. I just, I got the predictions down this time. Sadly, and I have to say it, often when I do these predictions, it backfires, so I was really glad I had a battle where it didn't do it, uh, because I paid dearly for those kind of moves. And also, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and the usual things. And also, leave a comment about my intro, if you guys think it's better with that song, or if I should change it back. Uh, and other than that, you know, guys, thank you for watching. Sincerely, 